I'm providing a list of keyboard shortcuts that I'm recommending. I put a lot of thought into this, and it's really a complete system. I provided a PDF file that you can print out. It's a single page, and you can tape it up on the wall next to your workstation. You can copy this into your computer, whether you're on a Mac or a PC, and let me show you how to do that. That'll save you from having to type each shortcut, which is quite tedious. So on the Mac, there's no provision here in the preferences for importing a shortcut file like there is in Windows. Instead, you have to do it manually by placing a file in the right folder. So here on the Sample Files folder that comes with your videos, I provided these files. This is the PDF that we were just looking at. This is a spreadsheet in open office format. You can use that if you want to change some of the shortcuts and print out the sheet again. The shortcuts.plist file is for the Mac and preferences.dat is for Windows. So let's talk about the Mac first. You'd want to copy this file into this location right here. This is located on your computer, under your user folder, library application support, Google SketchUp 7, SketchUp, and there it is. So you can overwrite the file that's in there with this shortcut file. On Windows, there's actually a provision for importing shortcuts through SketchUp, so it doesn't really matter where you place preferences.dat. But if you just want to be most organized, I'd recommend just placing it in this folder with the other dat file under C Program Files Google SketchUp 7 Support. And then to use that, you have to go into SketchUp and go Window, Preferences, and then click on Import. Select that preferences.dat file, and you'll be good to go. Let's explore the different ways we can customize SketchUp. The most obvious is the Preferences. On Windows, it's in the Window menu. On the Applications page, there's an application you can set for editing image files. This is optional. It's a nice feature when you're getting into materials and textures. You can click a single button in the Material window and send your texture to Photoshop for editing and retouching. When you save in Photoshop, it automatically reloads in SketchUp. We'll get into this more later. I just want to give you a general overview of where you can customize different settings. The drawing page has click style behavior and various things. Extensions are Ruby scripts that you can load and unload. And I've actually turned most of the Ruby scripts that I use into extensions. That way I don't have to hunt through the file system every time I want to use a specific tool. And I'll show you how to turn your Ruby scripts into extensions later. The general page has a variety of features. Here's a nice one. On the Mac, you can save your current window size and position by clicking this button. The next time you launch SketchUp, the window will be the same size in the same place. Unfortunately, that's not available on Windows. OpenGL just has some various settings. You've already seen shortcuts. And that brings us to templates. Templates are how you create a new model. We're looking at the architectural design feet and inches template right here on the screen. Let's create our own template. I'm going to close the preferences. I'm going to get rid of Sang by clicking on him and pressing the Delete key. I'd also like to turn off the sky. That's a style feature. Go to Window, Styles, Edit the current style, click here, and uncheck Sky. There's a symbol here that means that your style needs to be refreshed. Click here to do so, and close the style window. I'm going to zoom extents. Open up Model Info. Go to Statistics, and you'll see that there's one component definition and nine materials in this template. We don't want to leave those in the template because every time we start a new model, we're going to be bringing those along. Click Purge Unused, and you'll get rid of those. Those belonged to Sang. Close Model Info. Go up to the File menu and choose Save as Template. I'll call this my design template and you can optionally add a description if you like I'm just gonna click Save notice that I'm leaving set as default template checked now when I create a new file it uses that template see now we're in a new file called untitled 2 let's just verify that we have the correct template set in preferences 
Here it is, my design template. Incidentally, you can also select your design template from the Welcome to SketchUp dialog box that appears when you're first starting out. There it is. This is called a web dialog, by the way. We briefly looked at model info. Let's open it again. I'll use the keyboard shortcut. This is where you set all of the information that's specific to this file that we're currently in right now. It doesn't have any bearing upon other files that you open. We can set the units here. We can set up how your text and dimensions appear. You can claim credit for the model or for the components that you author. You can set up the geolocation and so on.